Welcome back, everybody, to the Two Idiots franchise on MLB The Show. We are late in the 2025 season, and we are in need of a boost, an injection of statistical confidence. And it's going to come in the form of Yuki Matsui, a reliever who's 29 years old on his second year out of a five-year contract. And we are looking to dump just a little bit, not quite contract dump money-wise, but all three of the guys on our trade board right now, Love Lady, Brewer, and Edwards Jr. are all in their final contract year with us. So they're going to be going free agency next year unless we can use their value to improve our team. And that's what we're going to try to do today. And the Padres are definitely interested in making this deal. And and the biggest thing is, is Matsui is going to come in and replace Edwards right away. And Brewer and Love Lady are down in the minors. So it doesn't hurt our major league roster. So... It's a, it's a smart move for us to kind of improve our bullpen. Plus, he's locked up for a few more seasons at a cheap 5.6 mil. So, um, yeah, I think this is the right, right trade, even though we don't believe that he could write the entire ship for us. Um, definitely puts a, a nice bump in our bullpen. Yeah, and Edwards Jr. did pretty good for us overall. We were surprised and pleased to find him here on the Cubs franchise when we took over. But uh, he actually did pretty well. But the time has come with Edwards being 33. Uh, we definitely can't depend on him for much longer. Uh, but Matsui is going to come in with a very, very high quality immediate replacement. So, yeah, very excited to see what he's going to do for us. Yeah, exactly. So trade number two is going to finally be the golden ticket that Panther and I have been waiting for. A three for three trade. I don't think this has ever happened, has it? I don't think so. It's usually us <laughs> giving away two or three for one. Yeah. So. Trying to offload something and package deal to get a better player and all that. And it's it's been, you know, slightly disadvantageous for us. Uh, but now with Almonte, Luke Little, and Miles Mastroboni, we can trade to the Angels for Ben Joyce, Jose Suarez, and Gary Galindo. This is going to upgrade Ben Joyce in the reliever spot for Almonte. Jose Suarez is going to do better, I think, in the long term than Luke Little. And Master Boney is going free agent after this year, and he's not you know, a, a shortstop prospect for, I don't think, any MLB team. I don't think he's going to make it anywhere. Gary Galindo is also trash, but this is going to at least allow us to plug him into the minors and not lose a position player. Panther and I may edit him to actually play at shortstop um, just for shiggles uh, and to make sure that we can plug him in there and without him, you know, turning into the next error de la Cruz. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Angels, enjoy the free agents. They're like, thank you. So the trade's now complete. We have upgraded our relievers both at the major league level and at the minor league level. Got some exciting guys that we are very much looking forward to contributing to this roster. We are under 500 by six games, and laughably, New York is worse than that. So I'm happy to see that at least. And we will have Porter Hodge starting after the day off in New York for game one. Come on, Porter Hodge. Beat the Yank meets. No. Nope. No. Sure didn't. Yeah. Still got a good ERA. I feel like he probably didn't pitch a bad game because I don't think it moved Ooh, very much. Say yeah, say is pulling a Juan Soto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one, one or two odd games here is not that bad though. Uh, He's still Walker. averaging three fifty. Walker gonna hit in a walk. Yep. Couple hits, couple Harry, hits. Harry there. Ford, two for three with a walk. Yep. Love that guy. <laughs> we just signed him up for a, a long time too. Yeah, yeah. Bought out his bought out his his renewing his arm for cheap. Yeah. Soto hit a homer against New York. Love to see that. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, Porter had a good game. Yeah, six innings, only two earned, Walked but it was a little much. It was Caleb and Cabrera that that uh kept us where we're at. I mean, Porter got the loss because we didn't put any runs on the board. Yeah. Um to to negate the loss for him, but yeah. Yeah. The other, so the I don't other, blame Porter for that. That's Cab a good game. Cabrera had a roughie. He didn't yeah. get it out. <laughs> That's all right. One or two odd games. I'm not that worried about. No, it. no, no, no. And I think while we were recording here, you and I should also address, um, you know, the not a quite elephant in the room, but basically the plans for the rest of the season is that 
you know, we, we have this like frantic pace sometimes that we get into of trying to figure the problem out now and get us into contention or the playoffs now. Um, and I think, you know, you and I had, it kind of touched on like maybe why that could be is because with the Nats, we only had two years and yeah. the release of this year's game was right around the corner. So we stopped there. So we've actually never made it past year two in a franchise yet. And I think that you and I are trying to like do everything we can in a shorter time frame because that's what we've been used to so far. But I think looking long term at this franchise, it's a younger team. We've made so many changes to make that apparent. So we've got a young team that's up and coming, still developing. We've got some real virile veteran, like heavy hitter guys like Soto right now, uh, and Corbin Burns. But like most of the guys that we're going to be relying on are younger, which do take a little bit of time to develop. And they may not be at their best this season, but if this is a growing season for us, then we ultimately, I think, should probably be okay with that, right? You know, so maybe maybe our measure of success is not necessarily this year, you know, like how much over 500 or if we make the wild card, you know, we're putting the pieces in place. And I think the next two years are going to look very, very bright for this team. The, the biggest challenge or hurdle is not getting fired. <laughs> with, well, we got with, one more year. With I the think. underperforming, uh, like everywhere this year except for say suzuki and harry ford pretty much um i mean jordan walker i guess has been decent and young has been okay um but yeah i mean like we just there's a lot of pieces just not meshing and it's and it's get it's kind of scary and we're i think that's also part of the rush it's like we know we got more time to to play this than we did um the 2023 version of the show um but the fact that you know also we we put our feet to the fire in this one with you know we can be fired by the ownership <laughs> so if if the cubbies don't play well we are going to get fired and you know that kind of negates <laughs> negates any of the any of the <laughs> potential future that we have going for us so that's also a little bit in the back of my mind when we try yeah. to try to swing a deal to to shore up a position or shore up like you know reliever starter type of deal yeah, yeah. The, the 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 long outlook i love it but the fact that we're potentially could be fired is also scary. It's so. definitely something to consider. It is yeah. in the back of my mind as well. But I think that they don't make that decision until the contract is up, which we're in year two out of three right now. Yeah. So I, I don't feel the pressure so much here in year two. And I'm expecting year three to be much more successful for us as our guys develop over the years. So like we we I, I think are positioned well. This is just a awful cold streak that we're on right now. And even immediately here, we've lost what is this? Uh six out of the last set? No, five out of the last six. Yeah. So no, hang on. Four or five six out of our last seven. It's six in a row that we've lost. <laughs> God. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Bloody okay. terrible. But you know we yeah. got this because we got Corbin Burns, yeah, on the mound was nine yep. and five record, going against Clark Schmidt with a six and ten record, and we a got it. five seven one ERA. Yeah, let's 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 beat the Yank meets, and we didn't. <gasps> oh, no, 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 one to two weeks. Uh, uh, <laughs> I know, almost there. Uh, We've almost got all the pieces back together. So we just click auto for that, right? Any yeah, I think so. Days. Ooh. Oh, the Yankees liked what they saw somewhere. What do they want? Alzale. They always ah, want Alzale. Everybody wants Alzale. What's Ian Hamilton doing? B potential, 78th. Yeah, wow, he's plus seven. seven to to wow, wicked. Whoa. Wow. 39 innings of the 204 ERA. Going into huh. arbitration. And he's a year younger than Alzale. Is this is this the first fucking trade that we have to get offered that we want to make? That makes a little bit of sense. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It might be Ian Hamilton for Albert Owsley. Go to Owsley's card. Can I take a look there? Owsley looks fantastic. Three. He might be at his ceiling because he's got one, two, three, four, five, six different stats declining, but he's still looking really good. He's been playing pretty well. Hmm. We've kind of taken him out of the closer position because he yeah, blew like three saves in a row or something. 
It blew two in a row, and he was not pitching the greatest. And we right. put Strom down in the closer. Huh. Hamilton. Hamilton's just listed as a reliever. Yep, that's fine. That's what we got. Al's laid pitching relief now, so yeah, he's he's not a long reliever, thirty stamina. So he basically would take the position that Al is in right now. He would right. just walk right into that position, and he still has an option left if we want to kick him down in the minors if he starts to tank I, a little bit. I yeah, I actually can't believe this is happening, but I I do think that this is a good trade for us. I'm curious what they would see as the advantage for them. What does Al Alzale do for the Yankees that Hamilton couldn't? I don't know. Unless it's I don't know either. because it's the closer. Maybe they want a closer closer. They have Leclerc. Yeah. He's better than Alzale. Is he sucking? Maybe Leclerc's on the no. way out. No, he's doing fantastic. God. 30 saves, 35 innings pitching and point seven six. Yeah. And he's cheap. I don't know. Leclerc looks phenomenal. So maybe... Oh, God, I don't know. Yeah, I don't I don't know what New York would want with this, but I, I do actually seriously think this, this might be the doable. Fucking first time. Look, yeah. look at the first. A three-for-three three deal. We've never pulled off a three-for-three. Three. And yeah. the computers never offered us a trade that we've ever debated on taking like with a little average. bit of a budget drop too yeah we save money that is astounding so in the middle of the three game series with the yankees they saw adbert alzale and they liked what they saw so much that they're offering ian hamilton which for us is actually an upgrade in every conceivable way i don't know what they want with alzale but for us this trade makes a ton of sense and so after losing the first two games in the series, we're going to swap dugouts for these guys. Hamilton's going to come over and Alzale is going to New York. Wow. Yeah. The and first... he, he took the loss in game two right there too. You see that? <laughs> Who did? Oh, Alzale did. Yeah. Alzale did. Yeah. yeah. Took the loss and they tried and they wanted him. Yeah. Good. He's been good for us, but I, okay, sure. <laughs> so this is the box score from that game. Yep. So that's Soto and two for four. Canario, Horner. Okay. Bowsley commanded pitched an inning, give up two hits and an earned run, and they now he's a Yankee. Hey, Matsui. <laughs> yep. Matsui wow, commanded. Not not a good inning for him, but at least he clutched down and got it. Yeah. Well, he one hit, two walks, and struck someone out and get out of the inning. Yeah, so. three base runners, yeah. Oh, well, hey, hey. That's he all made right. it. I know. It's all I right. Know. He made it. Burns had a great game. So we're playing some of the worst baseball that any team in the major leagues is currently playing. We've lost seven in a row. Um, this has been extraordinarily ugly since the All-Star break. And it is crazy because we had a shutout game versus Philly, 5-0. and oh. We started so strong to one of the best teams in baseball. And then after that, just... Nothing but L's. So in game three, can we avoid a sweep? We got swept by the Nationals, and now the Yankees look to finish the job and put the nail in the coffin. Can Grayson Rodriguez outpitch Garrett Cole? Yes. No. no. <laughs> Eight in a row. Ugh. Oh, dude, this is not healthy. <laughs> The offense has still somewhat been there. I mean, we're not getting shut out, at least, all the time, you know? 11 hits, one walk, nine strikeouts. A lot of strikeouts. Grayson? No, no. Game. It's a good game. game. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like Young had an error that allowed two in. That sucks. Not Grayson's fault, but he takes the L there. Damn. The only one of those is Aaron, so if you That's take away those to take away those uh two unearned, yeah. yeah. Damn. We'll <laughs> 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 say it at the same time. And now look what we're going against. Yep. Dustin Steele versus Matthew Liberator in St. Louis. We'll be hosting them. Maybe home field is what we need. Some home cooking, some local women. 
and <laughs> some good vibes from the home team. I don't know, man. Like, fucking take me out to the funeral home at this point. Let's go. <laughs> take me out to the Dude, that was good. All right, so we're <laughs> we're up by one, and Abner is trying to close this out. Uh, I don't want to see this. We're on such a streak right now. I just the time is. <laughs> this doesn't feel even. Oh, oh we did it! We did oh, it. Abner, <laughs> glorious bastard! <laughs> Steel got the win. The wheels have come off. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. We're just enjoying the ride now. Forget it. Great games by Suzuki, Nico Horner, and, and then Cavali Cavaliero got a hit as well, but pretty much a three-man show here. I would say I had a, a red, rare error. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow, steal. Hell yeah. Fuck, there we go. There you go. And then Abner. Matsui's first yeah. appearance. No, it's a second. We've seen him already. Remember he... Give up the two walks and the one hit. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. You're right. You're yeah, right. Like in New York. Dead wrong on that. <laughs> <laughs> Abner right. had Abner. Look at that. He had a, he pitched two thirds of an inning and didn't shit himself. There you go. And there was runners on, too. So, so that, that was his own situation that he caused. Yeah, three yep. runners on. Yep. Jeez. We did it. Wow. We the streak the, is over. We broke that fucking losing streak. Jesus. Time to start a winning streak. Yeah, let's go. Let's do nine game winning streak. Yeah. Okay. So St. Louis. We're gonna we're gonna send Max Freed up against Johnny Brito. And F Freed has a lot of better stats. Yes, yes, he does. So let's let's do this. Let's keep the, the hot meals coming and the loose women coming and <laughs> let's go. Yes. Hell yeah. Four to one. Two's right. a streak. We're going to celebrate. <laughs> Save over. What a walk. Jordan down. Walker now crests the 300 mark. I was going to say, we, we haven't had a home run for a while, so Jordan Walker decided to get two of them. Yep. Got to make up for it. <laughs> Walker basically won us the game with three RBIs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he sure did. Nice. Look at Freed, baby. Hell yeah, man. That's and that's his 11th win on the year. Yeah. Hey, Abner, another stellar inning. There you go. Abner's on the rebound for you. Yeah. Strom is still putting it together an inning at a time. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. 22 saves. Good. Good. Good Some stuff. Good vibes. Yeah, there we yeah. go. Let's... We had to rely on the long ball. We only had, what was that, five hits? Yeah, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't a loss. All, All right, right, Porter. Should have another stellar game. You watch Let's this. Make it three. You watch this. No. Oh, we get shut out. <laughs> oh, dude. St. Louis is like, we had enough of this hey, shit. Hey, his ERA went down, I think, again. How? I don't think it was him. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where did the. Oh, yeah, the sixth or the seventh. Yeah. Oh, my god. So he gosh. gave up one in the fifth. Did he pitch five innings? Yeah. Five in the third, give up that one earned, and that was it. Yeah. Kelly oh, game. and Suarez, the two of them shit the Whoa, bed. Yeah. I think they shit each other's bed. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> they shit in each other's pants before they went in the mound. God. <laughs> God. Fucking Killian. Give hey, up at least we got Kyle Muller there. Yeah, finally had a nice, decent outing. Yeah, but that's awesome for Hodge, man. I don't think he deserved that. I know we got shut out, so it is, you know, he allowed a run. That's the loss. But, man, I mean, the the walks are not fun. But that he can pitch now a couple games in a row and have pretty good outings again. He's definitely bouncing back. Yep. The win loss record's deceiving. Yeah, very that's, deceiving. That's like the Grayson Rodriguez problem at the start of the yes. year whenever he pitched, you know, fucking five and six innings of like one hit ball, one run ball, and the team fucking sat there sucking yeah. shit for the rest of the game. <laughs> Fuck. It. Yeah, the offense was not present for game three. There but is. we win the series. It's a new month. August is going to be the turnaround. Not only are we going to go positive this season, we're going to make a climb within the wild card race. The fucking angels are better than us. Yes. Right now. By the time we get there, we'll be better than the angels. Calling it. August is positivity month. 
We are going to be at least two games above 500 by the 26th. Yes. <laughs> Do you want to mark that down somewhere? I don't believe you. You know, the the Ron, Ron not Ron Swanson. The, um, Ron Burgundy. Ron Burgundy, yeah. By the end of August, we will be two games. No, but you said better. You said better, didn't you? So we'd be three games above. I'll give you the two. I'll give you the two games. Okay. We'll be as good as the Angels by the, we'll be two games over 500 by the 26th. Okay. All right. I have it written down. All right. Remind me in 28 days. (laughs) (laughs) All right, it's going to start with Corbin Burns against Dylan Cease as we host San Diego. They are a smidge above 500. Cease looks to be struggling a little bit, probably giving up the long ball there because his strikeout rate is really nice. Um, But, yeah, that ERA is tough. Over 120 innings, that's consistent, mediocre performance. So hopefully we can take advantage of that. Let's let's cease his existence as a good Ah! picture. Woo. Oh, baby. We the loss. Let's go, Burnsy. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they only got three hits on us. We burned them up. <laughs> hey, two home runs from Soto. Okay, way to get back in the mix, baby. Wow, a complete game <laughs> shot out. Let's go. Three hits. Two three games loss. above 500 coming up. <laughs> 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 uh, I hope you're right. I wow. really do. Damn. What a fucking game by Burns, man. Burns and Soto. That's all we needed, apparently. <sighs> all right. Here we go. Grayson Rodriguez versus Michael King. Let's see if we can not make that crown drop. And it's late game, bottom of the ninth, tied. A chance to walk it off. Let's crush them. So game two is here. We are late. Bottom of the ninth, one out, two men on. Nolan Shonowell is at the plate with a potential walk-off incoming. As long as we avoid the double play. And if Nolan can pop one out deep to the outfield, a long single will do it. Let's see. Let's go, Cubbies. You hear the chance. The people want it. Trying to push us back to 500. Let's go. And that goes straight to the pitcher to second base, and it's a double play. So we will see extras. The exactly, fans can't believe it. Exactly what we didn't want. So we've had their number. We're going to have Killian remain in the game here in the top of the 10th. Ghost runner on second. 7, 8, and 9 do up. Why is our long reliever pitching in the 10th inning? And clearly know. it's not his first inning. No. Wow, that thing hung. Got him to pop in the left field for an easy out number one. No advance from the runner. So far, so good. Do that again. Yep. Ethan Salas is up to bat now. One for three on the day. Close with a sinker from Killian, but it's ball one. Two for six in the series, a double and three RBIs, so... Not having a horrible series so far, so we need to calm this guy down. Yeah. Another good sinker, this time on the outer edge, to foul off at one and one. Killian's been more up than down for us. He's been pretty damn good, mostly. So we'll see how he does in this high clutch situation. One and two ahead of Salas. Good pitch there as well. That sinker is really working for him right now. He keeps tossing on the outside. He keeps swinging that. I throw a little bit farther outside. Yeah, Holy he shit! <laughs> yeah, wow. Right, a little bit farther. This guy just loves hitting anything on the other side Panther of the plate. Stradamus here calling the pitches. Nope, another sinker. Sinker down. Yeah, these are all great. Wow. I'd go heat up and in at this point. I mean, he's changing yeah. everything low, changes yeah. eye level. Do that or drop a change up outside. All right. Wow, and he gets the pop up high and tight with a curveball. Keep calling it, Panther. You know exactly what we need right now. <laughs> <laughs> Until in Carlson comes in. Two outs. That runner's still on second. 
an amazing job by Killian for the first two outs. Dylan, Dylan Carlson is uh, 0 for 5 in the series, so yep. and he's got uh, 0 for 3 with a pop there today, so we need another pop-up. Yep. Something either easy or a striker to be great, too. That sinker is still looking good here inside to Carlson. One and one now. Oh, I wouldn't and have that is straight up the middle. Very quickly to center field. And that will most likely score. No! no! We got a oh. throw on the line to prevent it. Holy shit. Fantastic. Ooh. Defense saved us there. Ghost runner just a little too slow. Padres are going to keep Graveman in here. We've got Sean Uel on second. MVP oh. chance for Seiya Suzuki as the lineup turns over. One, two, three, and we can walk it off. This is our best opportunity. Oh, for four in the day, so it's time to fix that. Yeah, he's due. One for seven in the series. No, that's the ball. Misses. Two and O oh ahead now. Suzuki about to get a hitter's count. Swung at ball three to make it two and one. Misses the slider. That was a good pitch outside, so it's two and two now. Suzuki's got to defend the zone. And oh. he does to right center field. That's going to be it. We're walking it off. Taya Suzuki comes through clutched. Yes. Cubs win. And that's how we're gonna start August. Set the tone, boys, two in a row. Ooh. Suzuki in the 10th, walks it off. Suzuki has been the man all year. He tried him that, that outside slider and didn't throw it far enough outside. Yep. That's awesome. Nico Horner gets player of the game. Yeah. Gillian pitched four innings. <laughs> Suzuki had that one hit was the only one he needed. Yep. Soda went two for four. Young went two for four. Horner three for four. Four two for four. Jeez. 13 hits. Walker with his 26th home run. That's awesome. Grayson a little bit. That typical three of him. Yeah. Three, still three. A good game, man. I'll take five it. strikeouts, yeah. Yeah, wow. Kelly done an amazing job. Only two hits over four innings. And one walk. All contact, too. No strikeouts. Yeah. <laughs> So we ended July by breaking out of the losing streak with a two-gamer. Then we lost the third one to St. Louis. Yeah. Our heads weren't very, very well, weren't held very high after the end of July. But so far, into August, we have two wins in a row. Yep. And we and won four out of the last five now. Yeah. So... The upswing is the upswing has started. Like I said, those those relievers were the total turnaround that we needed all season. Where yeah. that was those two reliever trades we made. Um, actually three because we because we we have also been Hamilton too. Yeah. On the Alzley trade, so. Yeah. All right, so let's let's keep this uh, hot streak rolling. We put up Justin Steele versus Joe Musgrove. And Musgrove's yeah. having a decent season. Yeah, really good. I mean, Justin Steele's season doesn't look that bad either. Yeah, and he's been consistently pretty good, but has just not been able to crest into, like, elite level. I think that's the only thing that we're waiting on with Steele, and I'm hoping that he gets there. I, I don't know if he will, but... we got a couple uh, more seasons to see how he plays out, but yeah, just waiting yeah. for him to kind of kind of get, yeah, that one extra little step where he becomes a low 3 ERA guy instead of a high 3 ERA guy. ERA guy. Yeah. Yeah, but... Uh, Eight and eight, eight and eight so far. He's he's had some he's had some rough outings, but he also had outings with no run support, like the rest of yeah, the boys. So exactly um, now that the runs are coming, let's keep them coming and let's uh, 
Let's just do this. Alex Jones sustained an injury, pulled his groin. Alex Jones <laughs> pulled his dick. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so he's uh, these are your guys. What do you expect? Yeah, you just leave him down there. Oh no, no, that's okay. A okay. few days. Okay, I see. I see. We've James also Wood. got a PCA due up in a I week. I know, or two, and right? I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that announcement. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, what is Triple going eight. on? Blister on the finger. So many finger injuries. What is this? Jesus Christ! All right, last one. Uh, and we did it. We yeah, swept dude. the Padres. We swept them and shut them out twice. Ooh. There we go, man. Kybiero with two for four. Only six hits and one yeah. walk, so not yeah. much production, but it was there when we needed Every it. Every four with the home run. The three, three run home run? Could be. Yeah, yeah. only had one hit, so yeah. Harry Ford wow. won us the game with a three run bomb. Fantastic. Steel complete. Wow, game. dude. Steel. Wow. Let's go. That's what we've been waiting for. Yeah. Ace Corbin Burns out. just had a complete game shutout, and now Justin Steele. Damn. Wow. No walks either. Only three hits and eight strikeouts. Steele was masterful up there. Ah, that would have been a hell of a game to watch. Wow. Oh, view draft picks is there. We can see it now. Oh. Let's go take a peek. Yep. Oh, no. No, no, no hang on. Nobody's very high. <laughs> that's not That's not oh, great. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, hold on. So, how... Uh, oh, oh, God. Yeah, that's... How do our late round picks end up so much better than our front runners? It improves as we got further away from... <laughs> <laughs> the top. What in the fuck happened? <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, let's take a look. The actual overall for some of these guys, I need to see. 67 for Dominic Martinez. Uh, Greg McCarthy, what's his overall right now? 73. He's, what about William Bell? 60. So far, that's the lowest one to come in. What, what about Johnny Dixon? 58. That's the lowest now. And next one? 58. 58. Okay. So, a disappointing draft class. Oh my god. Let's take a look at Dominic Martinez. He was the one that we were really pushing for. So what does he end up with? Lots of power versus righties. He's got really, really good vision. I'm happy to see that. The clutch is okay. Very good durability. Not much defensive he stuff was, going on. He right was now. scouted a lot better than that. His uh, his draft overall, when we were looking at the numbers, was supposed to be between sixty eight and eighty six. Yeah, and he came in at sixty seven. So he came in lower than what should have been possible for us. His draft potential was also sixty five to eighty three, and he ended up with a potential of sixty four. So we got absolutely butchered on Dominic Martinez. Yeah. That's not fair. <laughs> well, viewing draft picks is a bad idea. <laughs> Your one was definitely better. We had all the way up to an 88 with Jonah Palma. <laughs> yeah, oh, that was rough. But Damn. After a quick scan through, we also noticed most of the other teams didn't do well. And San yes. Diego signed one of their seven draft picks. Yeah, that only was... one guy out of the whole draft. And he's dog shit. <laughs> so what was your bonus allotment? Seventeen dollars? Was that? I don't know, but we just, we swept them too. So on the heels of that, we find out that out of the draft, they only got one guy. Man, that's fantastic. Yep, good for them. Now, now they, here comes the challenge. Yeah, here comes here comes a four game challenge because we yeah. have Chris Sale, Brad Keller's not doing well. Ooh, um, Scar's not doing well either. No. Spencer Strider's doing okay. So, yeah, yeah we thought the middle two games might not There's be too a bad. And Chris Sale's not having a great year at a 5-4-3. No. So, yeah, we, we got this. It's only Atlanta. Listen, it's August. This yeah. is the month of redemption. This is yeah. the comeback. Yes, because watch this. <laughs> <laughs> that did work out very well. E. It's all right, because we got PCA coming back around the corner. Tomorrow. That's the next positive thing. Yeah. 
Well, Mika went wow, three home five. runs. Sean Wall Walker and Canario. Yep. Okay. Eh. Can he'll still hitting two ninety two off the bench. Yep. What a beast. That's awesome. All right. Wait, what about the pitching? Oh, I didn't look down at the pitching, did I? Nope. Ooh, freak it wrapped up. Ooh, yeah, he did. Suarez, Suarez had a better uh, outing. Yeah, only one earned. Yeah. That's all right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's what happened. Max, yep. Max Freed. All right. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Porter Porter's just got to get a win. Yeah. And he did. Hell yeah. Oh. Let's go. Oh, baby. Pete Crow's back. We got good news all around. James and Woods James Wood is, is no longer in Perfect. Yeah. Holy hell. Porter gets the win. Porter Let's gets go. Porter gets the win. Porter wow. Win. Everybody Porter. wanted to contribute to give that win to him, man. 19, 19 hits. Fuck. Only two walks. Wow. Horner and Caballero walked. That's it. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Two wow. for five, three for five, two for five, two for five, two for five. Wow. Everybody was having a day. Yes, they did. Look at the home runs. Harry Ford with two bombs. <laughs> the logo and Caballero following them up. Nice. Wow. Dude. Fucking Porter, baby. Yes. The man, the myth, the legend. He's still walking too many people, but man, he's been able to get out of those jams lately, hasn't he? Seven three, innings pitched. And three hits. Yeah. Fuck. There you go. Wow. Ian Hamilton. Is that the first time I've seen Ian's name on there? I think that it is. Yeah. That's two walks and a and a hit over over two innings and two strikeouts. Yeah. Is that right? Take that right that. Yeah. Right on that. Nice. Awesome. Well, on the heels of more wins and losses to start off August, Pete Crow Armstrong is returned. It's back in the lineup. Yes. Nico Horner is back in the lineup. Yep. We've increased um, potential out of our bullpen with some reliever pickups. And Corbin Burns in his last outing had a complete game shutout. And we're going against someone who looks like they're struggling a little bit this year. The stars are aligned. Let's just let's just make this easy. The Scorpions and Gatorade. Oh. Well, we'll Somebody be right now. back. Okay. Right. Now we celebrate with the Kool-Aid. Oh. Top of the eighth. Oh, we're... Two outs. I think we watched this one. <sighs> okay. Look at the excitement potential right here. I know. We got two outs. Jordan Walker could do it. All right. We're here in Atlanta. Excitement is happening. Jordan Walker. Oh. Wow. <laughs> We've got two outs. It's attack. the top of the eighth. Two to two. Bases loaded. Jordan Walker could really, really open this game up. If he can make solid contact and not play T-ball. Yeah. Just crush one. Make it easy. Yeah, just crush one. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. Oh. oh, and that ball gets away. With the bases loaded, yeah, we're not running home on that. PC had have been on third. I think we could have done it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he might have made it. Yeah. He could have made it home and cleaned off the plate. Wow, really had one to hit there. Come on. Oh. Another one. Really good pitch to hit, but fouled again. Jordan Walker stays alive, one and two. And there it goes, all the way back to left field, and it is gone! Yes! Yes! Jordan Walker with the grandest of salamis! Fuck Let's yeah! Go. <laughs> oh, shit yeah! <laughs> and it is. Six to two, all of the sudden. Oh man, that was fucking awesome. He cleared it. Wow. Like I said, just crush it. Make it easy. <laughs> just crush it. Yeah, just do that every time. Oh, all <laughs> flails at that one. Zero oh, and two now. And there, good contact fouled. 
How do you recover as a pitcher? How does Dylan Lee turn around after a grand slam? I don't know. Like, and it was a tie game. Like, it's yeah. not like you were already getting beat and you just give up a grand slam because yeah. you come in to relieve. Like, it's, you know, you were in there to do a job and he failed. Yeah. 37,232 fans just saw Dylan Lee get crushed. Madrigal staying alive. We've been putting together some good defensive swings. Oh, he didn't chase that slider in the inside again. He's he learning. Up two, two. Come on. Let's keep this going. Let's get another run in. Fouled again. Let's embarrass the shit out of the Braves. <laughs> Pitch number 20 from Dylan Lee now. And a dribbler right back to him. So he will throw over the first to end it. But wow, Jordan Walker, what a moment for him. And Ario subbing in for right field. Oh, actually, we're in the bottom of the eighth. It's Corbin Burns. We scheduled... Uh, Matsui. Yeah. But Burns well, is still here. Why? When we scheduled to put him in, why did it not put him in? When we gave up team control, it uh, must have just not done it. But you know what? He's only got 54 pitches. Wow. Dude. Burns is on fire. The irony. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and it's fine. on too quickly to Kellenic. Wow. Flail and making him look foolish for the sixth strikeout. Burns might go a complete game then. Hey, it's our old buddy Cabert. Oh. Well, that's off the plate. Oh, that was close. Cabert showing some discipline and batting 316. Damn. Whoa. Good for him. Not a lot of home runs. It's nice for to him, see but... some of those legacy guys for us. You know? <laughs> yeah, the old map guys, yeah. Yeah. Same when I'm playing my road to the show character and I go up against like Lane Thomas or whatever. It's like, oh, oh Baker, come on, Blue. Baker wouldn't want me to, to, to strike him <laughs> out, but I strike him out every time, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> Burns pitching around Ruiz here, three and one. And gets him to go after that cutter. Full count. Inside challenges him with that one. Let's see a curveball on the outer edge, please. Nope. He's throwing cutters. Brings the heat again with the cutter, yeah. Burns has got a really good cutter, too, though. Oh! Oh, and Ruiz! Sends one right back to us. Deep to right field. How far did that go? 394. Oh, no. And now it is Abner. We had two people that we put in the bullpen before giving up team control. Abner was not one of them. No. Nope. But it's his moment. We've got a three-run lead in the bottom of the eighth. Aussie Albies here, two for three on the day. What can Abner do? Nope. Ball one. So Burns Ball ends one, his no day one. going seven and a third, giving up three. Unless there were some errors prior, I don't know. But yeah. either way, still another great game from Burns. It's time for the bullpen to take over. Ball two. Cannot get calls on the bottom edge of the zone. Some fire doesn't like it. Oh damn. Hard contact there, drawn foul. Now, I know Abner is the setup guy, which is technically what the situation is, so I, I get why that makes sense. But I still was really excited to see Matsui. Yeah, it's one reason we, we set him up to, to come into the game is because we wanted to see him pitch. Yeah. The only thing we could do is try to take team control again, see if he's still warm, and just switch him out after this batter. Do you want to try that? I'd say we just leave Abner in to, to do what he needs to do. All right. We'll see if he can get it done at, at least here in the bottom of the eighth. And wow, hard contact again fouled off. Pitch number nine of this at bat coming through. Way down there.
Nope. We're not getting the calls on the bottom of the zone, Abner. I don't know if you didn't get the memo, but you're not going to strike him out there unless he chases. So now one on. David Fletcher. There's a slider at the top. Fletcher over eight in the series, so he's not having a good series, so let's keep that rolling with a not good series for David Fletcher. Yep. That's another good slider inside. Uribe ahead 0-2. Whoa, not going to get him to chase that one. Nope. Fletcher's showing discipline, evens at 2-2. Two and two. Come on, Abner. Up and in. Oh, way. Wow, it does get him to flail there, but Fletcher was able to make contact to stay alive. Yeah, up and in or down and in. Something inside here, I think, challenges him enough. Nope, dead center, just about. Jesus. And oh, that will no. sink through into right field. So Fletcher is on, and Atlanta will bring the time run to the plate now. Jesus. And it's Acuna Jr. 100 mile an hour challenge at the top part of the zone. He's like, is there a hole in my fucking bat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One for eight on the series with a home run. 0 for three today. Yeah. Abner is putting us in an uncomfortable position now. Yeah. Come on. Misses there. This is now making me real worried. Yep. Can't get that call either. This umpire oh. is not helping our cause whatsoever. Three and one. Wow. That was two strikes in a row, man. And now we're going to see Matsui. But is it too late? Uh, I don't think so. Matsui's got this. You want to know? You want to know why that umpire was not making those calls? Because we're in Atlanta. His his eyes are all red and puffy because he's been cry wanking the family reunion photos. Oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> See again? Oh. That was a strike. Oh my gosh! Yeah, he's been. There is no bottom of the zone here. No, it's just a void. The bottom of the zone apparently starts at. Fucking wow. the catcher's chin. Yep. Matt Olson represents the go-ahead run for Atlanta. At least it's a lefty-lefty lefty matchup. Yeah, but it's 2-0. and oh. Swing and a miss brings it to 2-1. and one. Come on, Matsui. Gets him to chase that 2-2. Two and two. We need balls of steel right now. Got him! Yeah! Poor Seamer on the lower inner edge. And now Austin Riley. We just need one more out here. Good splitter down and in. Oh, I thought he was going to chase that it. In. Yeah, that was so close. Oh, fucker. Good slur, man. Challenges him in 93, center of the zone, one and two. One more strike. Yes. Swing and a miss, and Matsui gets out of the bases loaded situation. Yes! So both teams in the eighth load him up, and only one comes out on top. Oh, fuck. The stress is real. God, is it ever. The bring in Jackson Stevens. Does not look to be having a good year this year. No, 4-5-9. Man, oh. lefties are crushing this guy. Yeah, they are. And we're going to start 7, 8, and 9 here in the top of the ninth. Harry Ford. Well, at least he's consistent. <laughs> <laughs> Over Another three strike the, called the ball. Over three on the day for Ford. Let's change that up. Good vibes. August yep. here, boys. Come on. What was wrong with that? that Harry? Strike. He might have been sitting off speed. He'll make contact there. Hey. 
Oh, and that slider gets him. It sneaks back into the zone for out number one. Yeah, that was a, that good, was a pitch. good pitch. Yeah, it was a good pitch. Yeah, no doubt about that. Now, it looks like Canario was subbed in because he has not had an at-bat. Yeah, he came in, yeah, he came in for right Somebody. field. That would have been... Yeah, we saw the sub, but not who it was for. Suzuki is right field. Is it? Hey. Oh, that's another good pitch. Stevens is ahead of Canario. 0-2. Oh, why would why wild. would they sub Suzuki? Don't tell me he's injured. Well, I don't know. Um, right field is Suzuki. Yeah, should have been Suzuki. Yeah, you're right. Oh, oh Canario extends for that one and misses. Stevens looks good. And Caballero at number nine. Contact to right field for a routine pop out. And it's time to close it down for real here. Bottom of the ninth. Let's go. Now pitching for the Cubs. And now it's going to be Strom. So you got to wonder if the designation that we had before we gave out team control, Matt Suey in the eighth, and then Strom warming up to close it in the ninth. If they had just done what we wanted, would we have had that intense situation with the bases loaded? Probably not. Probably not. Labor Torres is a brave here. No, inside. Now hitting 299 in the year with 28 home runs. Jeez. Have a year. Jeez. Yeah. Just have it Always somewhere hope he else. Doesn't, doesn't have a day, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have a year, but don't have a day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> and the Strom evens it up at one and one off of the foul. I love Strom. Big swing and a miss. His delivery? Yeah, I love it. So he's got such a good delivery. Yeah. It's conventional with a bit of sidearm to it. I like it. Yep. I just love the hair. <laughs> I love when they let that go wild. Ah. Ooh, can't get him to go after that. That was a good sinker. It's a good bait, but no bite. Two and two. Again, no bite on the circle change this time to load the count. Three and two. Trying to keep getting the chase outside. Yep, that goes to left field, and it does drop down. So a leadoff single for Glaber Torres. And it's going to be interesting. The bat, not shortstop, Orlando, Arcia. Arcia is 0 for 3 on the day. Off the plate, ball one. Strom delivers a cutter outside to begin the at bat. Only one for ten on the series, so Arcia is not having a great series. So no. Strom's showing everything on the outside. He's scared to challenge inside because it's lefty-righty matchups. Could be, yeah. And there it is. He does challenge inside. Got a pop up. Let's do that again. A little Arcea's bit higher. rounded into 15 double plays so far this year. There we go. Wow. <laughs> Perfect call from Panther. <laughs> Now I go low and inside. Low and inside? Yep, Let's see. That's what I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> now I go back to the outside. I try to drop like a slider into the outer corner. Four oh seamer. My God, close. <laughs> Four <laughs> seamer. <laughs> Let's drop a circle change on the lower outside edge. Does he throw a circle though? I don't remember what he throws. I thought I, I, thought I saw a circle change. Oh, Doesn't matter. The sinker gets him. <laughs> nice. Goodbye, Arcia. Come the clown for three on the day. Yep. And that's going to go to first, to second, back to first, and the Cubs yes. win. A close play at first base, but we got it. I thought Sean O'Hall wasn't going to throw it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it looked a little delayed there. Oh, wait, was that looked like Suzuki was on the field and Pete Crow was in the dugout. I don't know. So was Suzuki playing center field? Let's go have a look. Yeah, we'll have to take a look. Here now is the final line score tonight. First for the victorious. Yeah, Pete Crow was, in, was in right field. Yeah. Five hits, no errors. They left six runners. Huh. The Only one at bat. We got to make sure in the lineup that he. I know they put him in already, but I don't know if they put him in at center or right. 
Time of the ball game, three hours and 13 minutes. Walker had two home runs. Wow. Five RBI. Hell yeah. Walker's going to have a uh, 100 plus RBI season for sure. Look, Burns, yeah, he's done well. Three, oh, yeah. All three were earned. That's fine. Man, a bullpen. Look at that. Yeah. No earned runs. Wow, that's other, great. Other than Abner giving up those two walks. Yeah. Making wow, it Matt scary. Matt Suey just clamped down, though. Two yep. strikeouts to end it. Yep, nice. That's awesome. 